Yes, Queen! Woohoo! Finally! Power of one! The power of two! The power of And we are back with episode three of The Acolyte. What a surprise. It's almost been an entire week, but only because two episodes came out last week. This week, oof, what a doozy, I have to tell you. Now, I will say right from the start, I will only watch this episode once and then click through it for this video. That being said, in my initial watch, I didn't hear any of the pronouns, but, you know, if I didn't catch it, it's because I didn't go back and continue watching it again. Now, what I usually always say is that in Disney Star Wars, there's always it's always like a huge steaming pile of shit that you're going through to find that one piece of chocolate. That being said, this time, I didn't find the chocolate. No chocolate, people. No chocolate. Oh, wow! Wow! Stop it right there. I have to stop. No. Uh-uh. This is... What? This is actual stock footage. Hold on. See, I knew. I knew it. I knew that I saw those trees before because I have used them before in a video, in one of my first edited videos ever that I made fun of uh, the Snow White, I used stock footage trees just like that. And it's for free. Disney, where is all the money going to that you got for this show? Every scene, I have to wonder, is everything just stock footage now? That looks like something you could probably find in a stock footage file for free. Holy. I don't even know what to say to that. I mean, come on. I mean, this is... This is my level of editing. I could do better. Yeah, it's one of the twins. Don't know which one. The, I don't even really care. Wow. Oh, there's the other twin. I think I think the first one is the the good twin, the 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 second one is the bad twin or evil twin or whatever you want to call it. Krill. This character. He finds the twins and is visibly upset like get home girls. Oh look, it's Asian guy lurking. So they arrive back to their town and immediately after being scolded, they want Sweets. And I guess whoever this is, which, I mean, it's Kirill or Kirill or something like that. Um, they call her Mother Kirill, which I thought it meant some kind of a title. There's no chocolate in this episode, people. None. <laughs> Don't eat the cookies. <laughs> Don't. Please, Mother Coral. After the ascension ceremony. Let them have some spice creams. Mama! <sighs> Defeat me now. No, look, you look, I, I want to be perfectly honest here. I don't mind if there are lesbian or gay relationships in a show. It's just every single time it's like just hitting you over the head again and again and again. So I guess for later, the ascension ceremony, this ritual that they're going to undergo, they are learning about the force. And um, apparently whoever wrote this piece of garbage doesn't understand the force. But I digress. I know there are going to be people out there who are going to be claiming, well, it's the way that this sect of witches this coven of witches interpret the force whatever it's still wrong the power of one 
The power of one. See, with the power of two lesbians, you can do it. Power of two. Look, I know people are going to excuse this. Oh, they're just being kids. It's normal. No, it's not. I was a normal kid. I behaved myself in a setting such as this. I wouldn't be getting into fights with people while others are freaking watching me. Um, I'm sorry. No, this has this is not normal kids things. This is not being disciplined ever. Not being told how to behave ever. Yes, queen. Woohoo, finally. We were blessed with a miracle. The gift of life. Yeah, <laughs> what a miracle. Power of one. The power of two. The power of many. Wow, this is the peak power Star Wars. The power of two. The power of many. Yeah. Peak Star Wars, y'all. Peak Star Wars. I definitely get creepy, weird, lesbian sex cult vibes right here. Ugh. What is this writing even? Wow, this whole ritual is just bonkers. It doesn't make sense. It, it has feeling of absolutely just grotesque. There's nothing to it. Whoever wrote this ritual has no idea about rituals. Like, I could come up with something here in a few moments that would probably be a thousand times better. Like, what do you need to do to ascend? Well, how about you start off with a candle bathing? Like, if you don't happen to have a creek or something nearby or something that is safe, like hot springs or something like that. Yeah, you know, put up a lot of candles around a, a bath, you know, make it sensual and cleanse yourself of your former parts that you need to get rid of to be able to ascend. Then how about, you know, a certain kind of garb. I guess you could say, yeah, they have some kind of garb on. They both are wearing the same thing here right now. So I guess, okay, whatever. And then maybe, you know, do like a night of prayers. You know, where you reflect on everything you've learned. You reflect on everything that is supposed to come every, you know, you, the responsibility that you have, you reflect on these things. There's no reflection. There's, you have the power, you will ascend. Ah. Whoever wrote this shit. So the Jedi arrive unannounced, the sex, lesbian sex cult, they stand up, you know, and they hide the girls within their group. And the Jedi's arrive and like, hey, yeah, we didn't know this planet was inhabited. And like, so they get, you know, they have a back and forth banter, whatever else. And they say, you know, we have heard rumors that you are training children here. Which is not allowed, according to the Republic. And they say, you know, we're not in the Republic. You have no authority here. And then well, there's no children here either. Okay, and I guess the Wookiee goes, Aah. yeah, I'm kind of upset with the Wookiee. You'll see it better later when it's daytime and you see the Wookiee. Holy frack. Yeah, I said frack. Um, anyway, I guess the girls, they, you know, they come out from the group because Osha, the, the good twin, kind of wants to be a Jedi, surprisingly. And the Jedi are like, you know what? You know, we're all we're all civil here. Just bring the girls for testing to our ship, you know, tomorrow, and it'll be fine. And then we get a next line that just really drives this home and makes this show 
So Star Wars. But before we get into that part, just take a look at this. And you're just going to hand your lightsaber over to some random kid that you just met. Trusting. But, you know, whatever. But that being said, those two look like they're probably around the same age that Anakin was when he was picked up by the Jedi. And you have to remember, the Jedi did not want to accept Anakin. He was too old, and he was the chosen one. According to the Jedi, he was the chosen one, and the Jedi did not want to train him because he was too old. He was too attached to his life. Well, guess what? They're too old, they're attached to each other, and their entire sex cult that they have right here. Why would the Jedi want to train these girls? Why are they trying to take them away from the home? It doesn't make any sense, but it is so Star Wars. So they have to talk in a we group. We must let them test the girls. No. We don't have a choice. Osha wants to do it. Osha is a child. She is old enough to know what she wants. I did not bring the girls into this world so we could lose them to a bunch of deranged monks. It is not your decision. It is mine. And I've made it. I carried them. I mm. created them. And what happens if the Jedi discover how you created them? Wow. Just wow, the messaging in this. She carried them. The Sabra carried them. The Yaz Queen was the one who created them. And then what happens if the Jedi found find out how? So the Jedi are basically what the feminists would call old white men, while these two are modern and uh, good and gracious, and they can do everything without a man because it is some kind of a weird lesbian sex cult creating children that are unnatural. But by the way, this sounds a lot like how Anakin was created by the Force. Are they real? Are the twins the chosen ones? Two chosen ones? The chosen two? What is this? But wait, hold on. This is so Star Wars. So she's telling Osha, who wants to be a Jedi, to lie to the Jedi. She doesn't know how she's going to be tested, but whatever she thinks in her heart, she should say the opposite to the Jedi. Interesting. She should fail the test. That is the advice of your your mother. Lie. The Jedi are bad. The Jedi are good. This isn't about good or bad. This is about power. And who is allowed to It's use about it. power! Right now you want to be a Jedi. But as you grow, what you want, it changes, it shifts. Like the seasons. What? In winter, we hunt with Bunta. What was so that? Bows and arrows. Wait, hold on. I wrote this down. It isn't about good or bad. It's about power. First off, that. Second off, right now you want to be a Jedi. But as you grow, it changes. Well, hold on. I thought... I thought children knew exactly what they wanted to be when they say it. Isn't that the whole messaging? The AI must have slipped up, and I guess the people proofreading it... I guess there probably wasn't any proofreading, or they would have caught that part that actually kind of goes against their message, and I would actually agree with. Yeah, when you're a kid, you don't freaking know what you want, and that might change. Trust me. She's like, wow, that goes against everything that they have been preaching to us. Something went wrong there. Disney, Star Wars, Headland. Wow, just wow. Let's take a close look at the Wookiee's head. 
It's freaking shaved. Uh, I told you there are no chocolate pieces in this heaping pile of shit. None whatsoever. I guess maybe this is your moment to say this is Star Wars because they brought back Metachlorians. Look, Lucas made a mistake with the Metachlorians. Whatever. He didn't bring them up ever again. But Disney Star Wars does because Metachlorians are probably great, right? That's really Star Wars. That'll be a member, Barry, that people will enjoy. They test her pretty much like they tested Anakin. You know, tell me what you see on the screen. And she's like, a mountain, it's like a spaceship, and just, you know, lying twice. But twice, the, the Asian guy was like, that is correct. And then by the second time, she's like, no, wait, hold on. That's not what, oh, I just, I just show my hand that I'm lying about everything. Okay, I see. And then they have a talk with her. Did somebody tell you to lie? Um, And just, you know, like, do you want to become a Jedi? Then, you know, you have to tell us the truth. Let's continue. And then I guess she, she aces the whole thing. And, uh, you know, because she wants to be a Jedi. She told the truth. What was in her heart? Ooh, but her sister is very, very upset about that one. So, of course, Mother Coral's mighty upset. The evil twin is like, how could you? How dare you? You mean bastard and stuff like that, you know, and, you know, takes the one. All right, I'm going to take you away from here. I need to have a talk with Osha alone. Um, and they talk. And actually, this scene, it seems kind of, you know, like, are you sure this is what you want? You want to become a Jedi? And she's like, yeah, I do. And just, you know, like, we won't see each other again. Like, yeah, I, I know, but it's really what I want to do. Like, okay, like, whatever. It sounded like, okay, well, your wish, you know, and they hug each other and that like, your wishes will definitely be considered. But I do have to talk to the Council of Lesbians to know if this is something that we're going to do or not. So you see the good twin packing her things much like Anakin did and you come across the little notebook where that she was drawing in earlier which for some reason she knew the symbol of the Jedi before the Jedi arrived just pointing that out I guess I didn't talk about that earlier because I didn't think it was all that important I still don't and the evil twin is like you can't go I won't let you now how are you going to stop me and then I'm going to kill you. Then she takes away the drawing, walks out, closes the door, you know, locks it so she can't get out of the room. And uh, she drops this little flaming lantern that was on the wall. For some reason, you can just pick it up and move it around. And it's a flame, open flame. Okay, whatever. And drops it. And immediately, like the entire mountain starts going up in flames. It's like, Really? From that one little lantern in a in a mountain made out of stone and metal? Wow, okay, sure. The whole mountain will start going up in flames. Everything will be destroyed within a few minutes. How convenient that there is a an escape route in the room, which the evil twin, I guess, didn't didn't remember that there was there. This was already within a few seconds of dropping the lantern. They are both up on a broken bridge that got broken because of the fire that happened just a few minutes ago. And now the evil twin is acting like I didn't do this. I didn't start the fire. I didn't start the fire. Mm hmm. Oh, no. Right. I oh, know. No, I'm, I'm not going to sing. Sorry. Sorry about that. Don't tune out just yet. So I guess uh, Asian Jedi guy didn't make it in time to save May from falling down from the bridge, but is there to rescue Osha, the good twin. How did he know to even arrive there to get there and save her? I wonder about that. 
The Yas Queen is dead. See here, the entire mountain is burning. Hmm. Yeah, so the good twin wants to go back and save the family, and apparently, you know, she just completely blames the um her her sister for everything that happened. But if you take a very close look, and I know it's very hard to see here, it looks like the Padawan over there now has a scar where he didn't have one before. You remember in episode two, you saw this guy baby face, but an old man at the same time and had a scar across his face. Mm, I wonder where that came from. But surprise, surprise, the evil twin lives and searches for Osha at her favorite spot and uh, she's not there. So she thinks she's dead. Right, so my afterthoughts on this episode just, wow, it is so, so Star Wars that it's not. I have no idea what this was. There is nothing in this episode that I would say is a piece of chocolate. I've dug through it. I went through it again for this video. I didn't see, well, hold on, hold on. There was that one line about you being a kid and don't know what you yet want. And that might change when you grow up. That line was probably a piece of chocolate. Unintentional chocolate, but it was there. But it also gets counterbalanced by I carried them and I created them line. It just wow. It's. It's just messaging after messaging after messaging. And this whole entire episode was garbage. But, you know, th they're trying to set this up as some kind of a mystery. And I said that last episode. It's supposed to be, I guess, an, a mystery show where the mystery is already, like, everyone knows the mystery. Yeah, it's a it's an evil twin, or it's a twin in general, not necessarily evil. The name of the evil twin drops the lantern. So you get the feeling like, yes, she started the fire. It's her fault. She killed her family. And yet, you see that Asian Jedi somehow knew to go back there and try to save the twins. You see all of the other lesbian cult members lying dead on the ground and later on the ship the padawan has his scar on his face that he didn't have before so the mystery is lifted there is absolutely no mystery to this whatsoever i don't know what this is this is some shit writing like honestly I'm already long past that point that I'm going to be getting upset. I'm laughing at this. This is bull crap. I can't believe that they are doing something this horrible. And just come on. Yes, queen. Holy cow. I feel bad for the people who have stuck with Star Wars this entire time. And I wish... I truly wish I could love Star Wars. Even today, the Disney Star Wars, I can't. I can't. The writing is so, so atrocious. It just doesn't work in this episode. You can't explain any of this away. None of it. This is not Star Wars. This is not how the Jedi are. They. Why would they want... These two twins, these, these twins, why would they want them? They're over the age to be trained. They have attachments. Of course, something like this would happen. But I guess they're chosen, huh? The chosen two instead of the chosen one, because I guess the force created them or something. Force children. Without that one line in there, again, 
it would have just been a heaping pile of dung of shit. I can't say it more often. I, you know, it's just the, it's a fact. It was so bad. And if you haven't realized, I haven't given a score to any of the episodes. Because in every episode, I have tried hard to find something that I'm like, hey, I like that. First episode, cat woman, cat girl, whatever. I know, weird, crazy. Uh, no, nah, don't judge me. And the second one, I like to see that the Wookiee Jedi was there. Like, yes, give me that Wookiee Jedi. In this episode, we got the Wookiee Jedi. And what was it? He fucking, what? I mean, I'm sorry for swearing. Pardon my French, but he just, a, a shaved head? What? I didn't care about the Wookiee at all. Like, come on. And the whole ritual and the, the lesbian sex cult thing. This is messaging so much. I want to give every episode a zero, but at the same time, Yes, there was Catgirl. Then there was the Wookiee. And now that one line claiming that you don't know what you want to be as a child. That you will grow up and have different ideas. Keep that in mind. That's the one thing in this episode. Nothing else. And I really think that was just, oops, we missed the AI doing that. Anyway, uh, this was a delight watching this show. And again, I, I can only watch this show through once and then, you know, have sections of it portion wise for making the videos. So if I did actually miss the pronouns in this, I'm sorry. I can't point it out. If it happened, it happened. I'm not going back. You let me know. Uh, if you're watching this, let me know what you think about the show. And look, I want to make this perfectly clear. If you are one of the people who like this show, who like what is going on, good on you. I wish I could like it. I can't. I just can't. That's why I have to work through it with other people who agree with me. Um or who want to know what I think about the show. So, so definitely thank you for stopping by watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you didn't enjoy it, please thumbs down my video. Comment down below that you think I'm an idiot and that I don't know Star Wars because I know there are going to be people like that. Do that. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you do enjoy it, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow the channel. Until next time. Take care.